Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install the software and use the software that comes with the LTD loader. When you put the CD into your computer, this is the window that should come up. This will install the Vichy software. So we're going to click next. You have to accept the license agreement. Do we want desktop and launch icons? Yes. And then we click install and it's going to install the Vichy software. Takes a few seconds. There is a full video of how to put the new components and technology into your prophecy loader that gets installed as part of that video of, of this software installation. You can see there that is the install video. You'll need to go down and open that from the um, start bar though to actually be able to watch it. It's a pretty big video, it's pretty thorough. Obviously I have a lot of other videos on my YouTube channel now that also go through and show you that installation. I think the newer videos that I've done more recently and put up on YouTube may be better than the one that's actually on the disc. It was quite a while ago that we did the one on the disc. Got to wait for it to scroll all the way across. Okay. Developed by Hater Paintball. Tech support offered via Paintball Solutions, which is Key Action Sports Empire's tech support group. And then we're going to launch the Vici software. And here we go. Here is the Vici software. To actually get the software to activate on the setup here, you need to plug the USB cable into your computer, then into the loader, which means you have to remove the back plate from the loader in order to be able to plug in the cable. But that's quick and easy to do. So you plug the cable in, then you push power on button on the loader, let it scroll up and power on. As it powers on, it'll then come back and show you the power LEDs in amber, sorry, in green, and the setup will activate on your computer screen and then when you click setup the LEDs on the back of the loader will go to amber and here is now your ability to go in and adjust everything on the loader okay so what we have here we're in configuration set one it says so across the top you can see that speed is setting one torque setting one microphone sensitivity is set to six eye sensitivity is off wireless is off my LED intensity is 60%. Now, if you want to save battery life, you can actually bring the LED intensity right down. And when you do that, if you look at the back of your loader at the same time, you will see that the LEDs come down. So we can adjust that. I like it to be about 10%. It's a good number. But if you're playing in uh, bright sunlight and you're out in very hot, sunny days, you might want to put it up a little bit. If you're playing at night, you want to put it right down to the very lowest level. Power management, here we have the ability to adjust how long the loader stays on for and then automatically turns off. If you're playing a big game, you can be playing all day or all night, you might want to turn the power management off completely and then the loader will just stay on as long as you want it to until you power it off yourself. The only risk there is if you forget to turn your loader off, it will stay on until it drains your batteries completely. You can put in something like um, 300 minutes and then the loader will stay on for five hours before it turns off. If you play tournaments, you can actually bring this right down, put it at 10 minutes. So at the first, at the start of your game, you go out, you make sure your loader's on. You don't have to worry about turning your loader off. Automatically, when you finish that game, it's going to turn itself off. You're going to get the best battery life possible. What we also have down here at the bottom is a real-time battery indicator. Now, this is extremely accurate. So you can look at your loader and see exactly what your battery level is. We can actually configure for different batteries here as well. If you just leave it to automatic, you'll be able to see what your battery life is. So if you don't know if those batteries are good, whether they're risky, whether they're just verging on being bad and needing throwing away, or whether you'll get away with keeping them for an extra day, you can take a look at your battery level here and know exactly what they are. Now we can go and we can change and we can look at configuration two. Here with configuration two, again, my LEDs are on stronger. Everything changes. So configuration two, my speed, my torque level are both on three. If I want to change that, I can drag one down. I can drag them back up. I can put my microphone sensitivity up or down. Or I can decide that I'm actually going to use 
eyes and automatically you see the microphone sensitivity went off and again if I pull back to sound activation my eyes go off or I can use wireless turn on and use the RF capability it's all very easy to configure and in this case I'm going to set it to middle of the road settings because it's configuration 2 I'm going to have my sensitivity at about 4 my eyes off I'm all good in configuration 3 I have everything set to the maximum and I'm going to use that for a showing off so I'm going to use the RF because it's fastest out of the gate really don't need my LEDs to be on that bright I'll turn them down I'm going to put my timeout to 10 minutes okay let me go back and turn my timeout to down to 10 minutes on configuration 2 as well and bring my LEDs down so my LEDs are a little bit brighter in setting 1 dim in setting 2 and setting 3 I've got 10 minutes on my automatic time off and my speeds go from the lowest settings to mid range to high settings I'm just going to use sound activation on setting 1 and setting 2 and I'll have RF on setting 3 great now I can save these settings and I can save just the current configuration to my loader or to a file or I can save them all if I save them all to a file loader configuration 1 click save I can actually and this is sorry configuration 2 and then configuration 3 so I now have all of those three configurations saved separately I could then send them to a friend send them to a, another guy at a team give them to my techs allow them to use those configurations and put them onto any loader we will have standard configurations and some advanced configurations available on the internet for people to pick up and use you can even set up configurations that are specifically designed to work with the PSP events with NPPL events or working with Rebel and depending on what event you're going to go play you can just load back those settings and put them onto your loader obviously if you're playing PSP at 10 or 12 balls per second you don't need to have so much speed you can have the loader running slower if you're playing with Rebels you don't want the speed but you want more torque and if you're playing MPPL you want faster speed because you can shoot a little bit faster at those events or you can have some settings set to the maximum for ultimate speed and for showing off with YouTube videos and you can load those settings again from the loader or you can load them from a file and bring them back into the software so you can adjust them or put them onto your loader you can reset everything to the previous values or to your default values and when you're done you can simply exit the software do you wish to exit without saving the software without saving the settings yes in this case I do okay and then we also have links here for any software updates available to get the online manual and for tech support